Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you, creation of days. Be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, child of God. They want to oppose you. Hmm. They want to suppress your voice. They want to oppose you. Hear me very well. Hmm. Don't let the devil silence you. You see all the signs that you are seeing around you now. The reasons that you are getting not to let your voice out anymore. It is a sign of oppression. Spiritual oppression. That manifests in the physical. You see you that used to be so vocal about the things of God. Suddenly you are no longer vocal anymore. You that used to pray and fast and read the word of God. You are no longer vocal about You don't even let it out anymore. You are like, ah. I don't know, I don't know, something is not just all right. I don't know, I want to take my time, I'm off, I'm this and that. They are trying to oppress your voice. They are trying to oppress your voice, oppress your voice. Hear me very well, child of God. In this generation, the Lord has made you a voice. God has made you a voice. In fact, a voice to the voiceless. You are speaking even on behalf of those who cannot speak. Praying on behalf of family members who cannot pray. Standing in the gap of those who cannot stand. So the Lord has made you a voice in this generation. So you must be very attentive to that voice. The enemy will use tiredness. They will use excuse. They will just tell you, sleep a little. Sleep today, tomorrow. Sleep, sleep, tomorrow you speak. That is how they come. Sleep, just sleep. Sleep a little, sleep a little, rest. Rest, you are tired, you are tired, rest. Rest a little, rest a little, it become a habit. And the enemy will say they have won. May they not win over you in the name of Jesus. May they not win over you. Just like when somebody is fasting, that is when you are hungry. All the food in your house becomes so enticing. But when you are not fasting, you don't even care if food is in your house. Though the house is full of food, you don't, you don't have interest. Why? Because the enemy wants to shut you down. They want to suppress your journey. Child of God, your voice must be loud. Your voice must be loud. Hallelujah. Your voice must be loud. Your voice must be heard. In other words, don't allow the devil to silence you. You are a voice in this generation. And all the plans of the enemy to suppress your voice, it will not stand. Your voice will be heard. I pray for you. No attack will overtake you. No plans of the enemy will be able to silence you. You will continue to be that voice that God has placed on this earth to carry his name. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.